Question number one. What is the normal range of systolic blood pressure in adults? Your options are 80 to 120 mmHg, 120 to 140 mmHg, 140 to 160 mmHg or 160 to 180 mmHg. The correct answer is A that is 80 to 120 mmHg. The normal systolic blood pressure typically ranges between 80 to 120 mmHg. This represents the pressure exerted on the arterial walls during heartbeats, reflecting the force when the heart contracts. Question number 2. Which hormone is primarily responsible for regulating blood pressure? The options are insulin, adrenaline, aldosterone or glucagon. The correct answer is C that is aldosterone. Aldosterone produced by the adrenal glands. It plays a crucial role in regulating blood pressure by controlling sodium and potassium levels in the blood and influencing fluid balance. Question number third. What is the name of the instrument used to measure blood pressure? Your options are thermometer, stethoscope, Figmo manometer or ECG machine. The correct answer is Sphygmo manometer. A Sphygmo manometer is a device used to measure blood pressure. It consists of an inflatable cuff to collapse and then release the artery under the cuff and a mercury or digital manometer to measure the pressure. Question number 4. What is the diastolic blood pressure reading indicative of? Your options are Pressure during heartbeats, pressure between heartbeats, pressure in the arteries or pressure in the veins. The correct answer is B that is pressure between heartbeats. The diastolic blood pressure reflects the pressure in the arteries when the heart is at rest between beats. It indicates the resistance of blood flow in the arteries. Question number 5th Dear friends, welcome to Dear Competitive Exam YouTube channel and today you are attending 20 most important and most repeated MCQs on Human Blood Pressure BP. So do watch this video completely to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of question based on Human Blood Pressure. And at the end, if you find this video helpful, then please do like, subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams. Let's continue. Question number 5th. Which of the following factors can increase blood pressure? Your options are regular exercise, low sodium diet, obesity or meditation. The correct answer is C that is obesity. Obesity is associated with an increased risk of high blood pressure due to factors such as insulin resistance, increased sympathetic nervous system activity and inflammation. Question number 6. What is the term for low blood pressure? Your options. Hypertension. Hypotension hyperglycemia or hyperlipidemia the correct answer is b that is hypotension hypotension refers to abnormally low blood pressure it can cause symptoms like dizziness fainting fatigue and may be indicative of underlying health issues question number seven which blood vessel experiences the highest pressure your options are arteries, veins, capillaries or venules. 
the correct answer is a that is arteries arteries experience the highest pressure as they receive blood directly from the heart their elastic walls help to accommodate the surge of blood ejected by the heart during systole question number 8 what condition is characterized by consistently elevated blood pressure your options are anemia hypotension hypertension or bradycardia the correct answer is c that is hypertension hypertension is a chronic medical condition characterized by consistently elevated blood pressure levels it is a significant risk factors for heart disease stroke and other complications question number 9 which of the following lifestyle modifications can help lower blood pressure your options are smoking sedentary lifestyle high sodium diet or regular exercise the correct answer is d that is regular exercise regular physical activity can help lower blood pressure by improving heart health reducing stress and promoting weight loss question number 10 what is the term for the force exerted by circulating blood against the walls of blood vessels your options are blood flow cardiac output blood pressure or blood viscosity the correct answer is c that is blood pressure blood pressure is the force exerted by circulating blood against the walls of blood vessels it is typically measured in millimeters of mercury mmhg question number 11 which of the following is not a risk factor for high blood pressure your options are smoking high cholesterol levels regular exercise or family history the correct answer is c that is regular exercise regular exercise is actually beneficial for maintaining healthy blood pressure levels smoking high cholesterol and family history are known risk factors for hypertension question number 12 what is the primary function of baro receptors in blood pressure regulation your options are oxygen transport fluid balance sensing changes in blood pressure or blood clotting the correct answer is c that is sensing changes in blood pressure baro receptors are specialized sensory receptors located in the walls of certain blood vessels and the heart they detect changes in blood pressure and send signals to the brain to regulate it question number 13 which of the following blood pressure readings would be classified as a stage 1 hypertension your options are 110 by 70 mmhg 130 by 80 mmhg 140 by 90 mmhg or 120 by 80 mmhg the correct answer is c that is 140 by 90 mmhg Stage 1 hypertension is defined as a systolic blood pressure ranging between 130 to 139 mmhg or it is a diastolic blood pressure ranging from 80 to 89 mmhg Question number 14 What is the term for a sudden severe increase in blood pressure that can lead to organ damage Your options are hypotension, orthostatic hypotension, hypertensive crisis, or hypertensive urgency. 
The correct answer is C that is hypertensive crisis. A hypertensive crisis is a severe increase in blood pressure that requires immediate medical attention to prevent organ damage, stroke or other complications. Question number 15. What condition is characterized by high blood pressure during pregnancy? Your options are preeclampsia, gestational diabetes, ectopic pregnancy, or placenta previa. The correct answer is A that is preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is a serious condition characterized by high blood pressure and often protein in the urine during pregnancy. It requires careful monitoring and medical intervention to prevent complications for both mother and the baby. Question number 16. Which of the following is the common symptom of low blood pressure? Your options are headache, nausea, dizziness or flushing. The correct answer is C that is dizziness. Dizziness is a common symptom of low blood pressure, hypotension, because insufficient blood flow to the brain can cause a temporary sensation of lightheadedness or spinning. Question number 17. Which component of blood pressure represents the pressure during heartbeats? Your options are systolic pressure, diastolic pressure, mean arterial pressure or pulse pressure? The correct answer is A that is systolic pressure. Systolic pressure represents the highest pressure exerted on the arterial walls during heartbeats when the heart contracts and pumps blood into the arteries. Question number 18. Which of the following is not a primary factor influencing blood pressure regulations? Your options are heart rate, blood volume, blood viscosity or digestion. The correct answer is D that is digestion. While digestion can temporarily influence blood pressure due to blood flow redistribution. But it is not a primary factor in long-term blood pressure regulation. The heart rate, blood volume and blood viscosity play more significant roles. Question number 19. Which part of the nervous system is primarily responsible for the short-term regulation of blood pressure? Your options are Sympathetic nervous system Parasympathetic nervous system, enteric nervous system, or central nervous system? The correct answer is A that is sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is primarily responsible for the short term regulation of blood pressure. Controlling factors like heart rate, vessel constriction to maintain blood pressure hemostasis. Question number 20. What term describes a decrease in blood pressure upon standing up? Your options are orthostatic hypotension, postural hypotension, situational hypotension or transient hypotension. The correct answer is B that is postural hypotension. The postural hypotension also known as orthostatic hypotension, is a sudden drop in blood pressure that occurs when a person stands up from a sitting or lying position. It can cause dizziness or fainting due to decreased blood flow to the brain. So dear friends, it is the time to comment your score out of 20 questions. So let us see what is your score out of 20 questions. Please comment your score. And if the video was helpful, then please comment your view on this video. And do support us by liking and subscribing and sharing our channel, our videos. So thank you so much for watching and wish you good luck for your upcoming exams.